Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I'd like to talk about an astrology topic as part of my astrology topic series. And I want to talk about moon phases and the lunation cycle. And I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, so I thought I would get this done today. And behind me you can see a lunar cycle board and that is showing 12 cycles, 12 phases of the lunar cycle and that is taken from the 13 moon oracle that I have shown on my channel before. There's a video in my oracle playlist for anyone who would like to have a look at the 13 moon oracle. So I'm going to talk about moon phases and the lunation cycle and I'm going to talk about one particular type of lunation cycle in particular and that is the lunation cycle that has eight moon phases and here's a quick picture of the eight moon phase lunation cycle and just before I get into this I just want to talk about the quite well-known astrologer who first created the idea of the eight phase, eight moon phase lunation cycle and that was the astrologer Dane Rujar. And Dane Rujar wrote many astrology books and he's really known as the father of modern astrology. And I'll just show you a photograph of him. He lived from 1895 until 1985. And here's a photo of Dane Rudyard. So he's quite a well-known and well-respected and almost a revered type of figure in modern astrology. So I wanted to mention Dane Ruja because this was his original idea and he wrote a book called The Lunation Cycle that was published in 1967 for anyone who's interested in getting that book because the eight moon phase lunation cycle comes from the idea of Dane Ruja. So I'm going to talk about the eight moon phase lunation cycle and the information that I am going to refer to straight up, first up, comes from the book that I've shown on my Astrology Basics video, Astrology for Yourself by Demetra George and Douglas Block. So I'm going to show the chart that's in this book and there's lots of basic astrology information in this book for anyone who would like to get to get this book and I have mentioned this one before but I'll put the details below the video. So these eight moon phases I'll just show you another picture here to start with because this one is closer to the idea of Dane Rujas. This is where he had an idea that the eight moon phase cycle starts at a new moon cycle and goes all the way through and returns again. Now these eight phases, without getting too Techni technical from an astrology perspective. These are eight even divisions of the moon's position, the moon's movement ahead of the sun and these are all divided into 45 degree even sections. 
And the idea that Dane Ruger originally had is that it's, it, it starts as a type of seed, like a plant, at the new moon. And then it goes all the way around until you get the release of the seed at the completion of the eight moon phase cycle. So that's, that's the original concept that Dane Ruger had. And you have a waxing period and a waning period. So it's waxing as it begins the cycle and then it wanes towards the completion of the cycle. A lot of people would already be familiar with this because if you practice witchcraft or you follow Wicca, if you um, follow the already follow the movements of the moon, you would be aware of the basics of new moon, first quarter, full moon, and then last quarter. Well, what happens with this? This is divided into another four divisions. So it's, it's like the eight cross quarters of the wheel of the year for the Sabbaths. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as well. So just to go back to what I was saying about this information that comes from astrology for yourself. This is the this is based on the Dane Ruja eight moon phases, but Demetra George uh, has come up with her own interpretation of each of the moon phases and she had a key word for each one and so what what she also came up with is she also grouped planets for each of the phases as well and and that's the earth here in the middle from the standpoint of the earth and I, I'm not sure about the correspondence of the planets with each of the eight moon phases that that is Demetra George's own idea I kind of prefer the idea of the eight Sabbaths being corresponded to these eight moon phases rather than classifying you know putting putting correspondences of planets with with the eight moon phases so for me they don't quite fit so I just wanted to mention that if you get astrology for yourself you will see that and it's not it is not widely recognized by astrologers so the the other thing about this concept too is that this whole idea about the eight moon phases this is the moon in relation to the sun so this is not just about the moon and the moon phases this is in relation to the sun so this is really a lunar solar relationship this is not just about the moon so you can't have these moon phases from an astrological perspective unless you keep in mind that this is the moon phases in relation to the sun to the sun position so the new moon is actually beginning to move ahead of the sun and when you get to the full moon that is when um, the the sun it, it is you know the moon is ahead of the sun and then it is behind the sun at the full moon so new moon ahead of the sun full moon behind the sun so just talking about some of these keywords that uh, Demetra George has come up with for the eight moon phases 
she calls as the calls the new moon emergence the crescent moon struggle the first quarter moon action the this is phase four because there's eight phases phase four is called the gibbous moon and she uses the word perfection for that one full moon phase five is illumination phase six the disseminating moon is called distribution phase seven is the last quarter moon and she calls that reorientation and phase eight is the balsamic moon and the key word for that is distillation. Now I just want to talk about a few other books for people who are interested. And I just wanted to remind people this uh, lunation cycle at the back here is divided into 12. So there are different lunation cycles. Just as you can have the lunation cycle of four, it can also be divided into eight. You could, you could, you could divide it into other, other numbers. But just to talk a little bit about books that work with the eight moon phase, the first book, the, this one here that I really want to recommend, this book was way ahead of its time really. This book is Moon Tides Soul Passages by Maria K. Sims. And I'm pretty sure she's still alive. Really interesting astrologer. Maria K. Sims was the first astrologer after Dane Ruja as far as the eight moon phases she was the first one to correspond these with the cross quarters of the year and the Wiccan Sabbaths she was the very first one this book was written in 2004 but Maria K. Sims actually had this idea in the early 90s, in 1994. I think you can still get this book. It's a great book. And it's a great book for a lot of reasons. And I'm just going to show you the chart in the book. These are, this is where she talks about the eight lunar phases in correlation with the eight sabbaths and she's got this whole chart here and she's got the eight lunar phases and she starts with the new moon at winter solstice or yule and then she has it finishing with the balsamic moon which is phase eight with Samhain and underneath here she's got all of these keywords for these eight moon phases. There is lots and lots of information in this book. It's a great book. The other terrific thing about this book is it actually comes with a digital CD that you it has a program on here all about the lunar phases. And you know it's in the back of the back of the book here so what you can do is you can actually print off the position of the lunar phase that you were born under and you know there are other astrology software programs that actually have that information but not all do but I think this is a great, this is a terrific resource because this, this disc only has this um, particular information about the lunar phases for different dates of birth. 
And there's even information, there's even a chart at the back for all of the lunar eclipses from 1950 up to 2030. It's just a wonderful book. It's a wonderful book. There's rituals in here for the eight lunar phases. There's just so much information and she also talks about the positions in your chart for where they are now which is called a progressed chart. I don't want to get into too much technicality but there's just so much information in here and she also talks about all these wonderful correlations with and 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 famous people and events at different phases of the moon and she also talks about this in relation to the star signs as well but mainly you know the um, the actual moon star signs but there's just so much there's so much in this book and there is there are some wonderful pictures in here as well it's it's a really unique book I think I'm pretty sure this would still be in print but it is just it is just so unique There's some more pictures in here you know this is for a new moon and, and crescent moon You know, there's artwork for each of the there's artwork for each of the moon phases in here, each of the eight moon phases. And you'll see some more. It's just a wonderful book. It really is unique, absolutely unique. It is the it is the best book on the lunar eight lunar phase cycle. It's the best one. It's a, it's the best one out there. Great book. And she also puts this in the context of waxing and waning of the moon as well. So I'm this is my my first choice to recommend Moon Tides and Soul Passages by Maria K Sims. The next one is a great book and really unique. This one was, was published in recent years and it's from a more pagan perspective in a way because this is a pagan author. Moon Phase Astrology by Raven Caldera and I have mentioned him before, he's one of my favourite pagan astrologers. And the subtitle is The Lunar Key to Your Destiny. And what is great about this one is he has eight chapters in here for each of the lunar moon phases but then for each of these chapters for each of the eight moon phases he then has information for each of the star signs so for example if you have if you are born under the new moon stage and you have an aries moon well it goes through for each chapter, so for example, the first chapter being the new moon, there would be information from the air for the Aries moon all the way through to Pisces moon for that new moon phase. So he's done 12 of the star signs for them of the moon for each of the eight phases. So this is a really great book. Very, very original. It's 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 got some charts in here as well and it it's it's very original these are his these are his own interpretations on the eight moon phases correlated also with the moons in their signs so it has it has a recommendation on the back by Christopher Penzack and it's just a wonderful book, Moon Phase Astrology by Raven Caldera. That would be pretty easy to get. 
And when I was talking about Maria K. Sims, she's an unusual person too because, you know, she's a qualified astrologer who also is a Wiccan. So, you know, both two original approaches to lunar phase astrology. So I'd like to recommend the best resources of people who are actually qualified astrologers. Now the last one I'm going to finish with is quite unique. This is The Phases of the Moon Mother, an Archetypal Cycle by Rowena Patty Crider. This one is quite unique. And this one is different again because it actually divides the cycle into 16 instead of 8. And the author calls, calls that the draconic cycle, the draconic idea. And she actually explains everything in the book. So here is the book cover. The Faces of the Moon Mother, an archetypal cycle by Rowena Patty Crider. And there is a chart here with all of the 16 moons. And the great thing about this one too is that there is wonderful artwork. So there, it, this is divided into all of the 16 as, the, well I shouldn't say aspects, the different 16 phases of this cycle of the moon. And there is a wonderful kind of, I suppose you'd say, poem for each one. So she calls this one the, with the third moon face, she calls this one the child in the garden. And there's a wonderful picture here of the child in the garden. Wonderful drawing. So this is, this is quite a unique book. I think this would still be in print, I'm not sure. And um, the author of the Mother Peace Tarot, other people, Mother Peace Tarot, Vicki Noble, has recommended this book on the back. So The Faces of the Moon Mother, an Archetypal Cycle by Rowena Patty Crider. If you would like to look into a 16 moon phase cycle. So I'm going to put all of the resources, all of the details below the video for people who are interested in finding out more about the moon phases and the lunation cycle. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.